73rd edition of Berlinale and the 53rd Berlinale Forum and the second screening of Alan's words, who obviously doesn't need any introduction, especially for him. So, James, please go ahead. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I made this film because nobody knows about Allensworth, um, and it's an important part of American history. Uh, but I don't tell you much about it, Allensworth either. Uh, but you'll feel it. And then there's three or four uh, hints in the film what Allensworth might be. But they're all from a different place and a different time. But they should give you an idea of how important this place is. And then after, we can actually talk about what it is. Um, I'm hoping this film, when it shows without me, will make the audience curious enough to use these, what are these devices you have? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know how to use them. Yeah. <laughs> but don't do it during the film. <laughs> Thank you, James. So, uh, what you see in the film is a state park. Um, Allensworth, uh, in 1908, was a race town. Uh, it was started by five black men from Los Angeles who were able to buy some land in the uh, Central Valley of California. Uh, they had a hard time buying land. No one would sell it to them. But there was one white land broker who did, who sold them acreage at three times the price of what the land was going for, and sold them the worst land in the Central Valley. It was uh, full of alkaline and hard to farm with. Uh, the developer promised to uh, get them electricity and proper water, uh, which he never did, and uh, after a few years, uh, signed off and said, oh, you just take over my corporation now, uh, after uh, he had pocketed the profit of all the land sales. Um, and then the railroad, which was uh, their lifeline, was moved a half a, a mile away and made a stop at a different town. And then the water, they did have artesian wells that they could uh, irrigate with, but the water that was coming into the Central Valley was, uh, in the early 1900s, dammed and put into an irrigation, both federal and state irrigation systems, and then redistributed uh, according to uh, public policy, and that uh, public policy excluded uh, giving water to Allenstown. Um, so they didn't get their electricity, the water was cut off. And then the leader of town, Allen, Allensworth, uh, was, uh, lived in Los Angeles also, and he was hit by two men on a motorcycle and, and killed, and there was no investigation into if it was an accident or an assassination. Um, the town itself, uh, lasted for about 20 years. It got up to 350 people, some accounts, others say about 250. Um, the town in, 19, in uh, 1975, uh, or early 1970s, was petitioned by a number of black people that grew up in Allensworth to make it a state park. Uh, and by that time, the, the town was just about missing. And uh, for some reason, it was uh, uh, given the money, and they uh, repurposed, they rebuilt uh, those buildings that you see in my film. Um, and there's about 15 of them that stand there today. And that, those are from the very first five or six years of the life of Allensworth. Um, Alan Allensworth was very much um, influenced by Booker T. Washington, 
who uh, started a black com community in Alabama and started a school that was a, a technical college. And um, Alan Allensworth wanted to do the same thing in Allensworth uh, to build a technical college there. Um, but uh, liberal whites uh, voted against that because it would be uh, heading to uh, segregation. So they were being attacked from both the right and left wing uh, uh, at the same time. And eventually the, the town disappeared. Uh, recently, two corporate um, dairy farms wanted to locate just to the uh, east of Allensworth and just the north of it. And there was uh, a fight against those two uh, uh, large corporations to, that they shouldn't allow them to have dairy farms there because they would create lots of manure and lots of flies and smell. And it would have just about destroyed uh, the place as a park. And um, I don't, I'm not sure who won the, the uh, battle because the dairy farms were uh, uh, not given uh, the, the right to um, build those dairy farms. But instead they were given $15 million uh, to, because they couldn't build the dairy farms there. Um, so some... Uh, it's, it goes on. Anyways, I, I um, grew up in Milwaukee uh, in a poor white community that was adjacent to the black community in uh, uh, Milwaukee. And so uh, I grew up in a very prejudiced uh, environment where poor, hate, poor whites hated poor blacks. And we assumed poor blacks hated us. Uh, and so that was my beginning to grow up in this kind of awful racism. Uh, and I've been fighting my uh, battle ever since to figure out uh, uh, what caused that. Um, what, uh, one other thing I can say is that Allensworth is in Tulare County in California, and it's the poorest county in California, and it's a long, narrow county that is in the Central Valley in the west, and then it go to the east, it goes up into the foothills of the Sierra Nevada. And I live in the very eastern, uh, the very eastern section of Tulare County, and at 4,000 feet in the Sierra Nevada mountains, and it's where I made replicas of the Kaczynski and uh, Thoreau cabin. So uh, another reason I was interested in Allensworth is that it's this rebuilding of, uh, of what, what had happened. And so I find it interesting that Tulare County now has uh, one side uh, references to radical politics of Kaczynski and Thoreau and the others down below the kind of the history of uh, uh, a black race town that was uh, systematically erased by white uh, white prejudice. That's a long. I I could go on. <laughs> Thank you, but I, but I think.